Yeah. 
Come over here, praise God. I said, what I'm saying, he makes me glad. I got a song that the angels can sing. They've been redeemed through the blood of the Lamb. We've been redeemed, praise be to God. I'm all right now. I've been thinking about y'all, brother. I said, my God, just check over to it. Just check over to it and claim it. Praise God. Put your sticks down. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Amen. All right. I guess they want me to stop. Praise God. Hey, I listen. Praise God. Amen. Ain't nobody doing nothing. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Y'all sitting there like y'all trying, trying to throw out. Praise be to God. I came with Earl and turned all the heat up. Praise be to God. But, amen. <laughs> if you were cold, you wouldn't be cold for long. Help me here. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Let's try this out. See how this will fit you. Praise be to God. Every praise is to our God. <laughs> Every word of worship to work or can we can we do it? Yeah. Uh -huh.
God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, praise team.
but cherish and love on your family. Even those that don't want nothing to do with you, love them anyhow. Amen. Love them anyhow. Amen. So we thank God. Amen. For Thanksgiving and preaching. We know that most of y'all have a blessing I did. Christmas is coming. And let me say this. December ain't got here yet. So y'all got enough time to prepare to be a blessing to our pastor. Y'all know me when it comes to our pastor. You have enough time to be a blessing to him. After all the year preaching, skipping around this place and being there for us, let's be a blessing this Christmas holiday to him and let his family, okay? Will y'all do that for me? Y'all don't know how I am by now when it comes to pastor, first lady, family. We got to be a blessing to them. We got to let them know that we love them. Deep they tell me of every frog praises his own pond. Amen. So we got to bless our pastor. And we got to show him that we love him. Amen. We got to show him that we love him. And that we, we, we appreciate all that he has done for us. Amen. Amen. And as we prepare to to see 21 out and 22 in. I don't know what pastor's plan is for New Year's Eve. But as we prepare to see this year out, Coming is the last Sunday in November and coming into December. Next Sunday will be the last first Sunday in the year. And we'll be preparing to see this old year out, 2021 out. And 21 has been a tough one. But the Lord, I believe, is going to bring us through right to the end. Yes, he is. And as we prepare to see 21 out and 22 in, let's get our record straight. Let's get our record straight. Let's not go into the new year holding grudges or holding malice or not talking and not speaking, not loving. And let's clean our record up. Amen. We don't know when our number be called. So Amen. let's clean our record up. First John chapter three. First John chapter three. Amen. First John chapter three. John chapter 3, begin at verse 1. Behold, mm -hmm. what manner of love the uh -huh. Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. What manner of love that the Father thought it was so good that we should be called the sons of God. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. Most high God. Yes, sir. And it's time for us to realize and clearly understand before 21 goes out who we are in Christ. If you say you are saved, uh -huh. sanctified, uh -huh. filled with the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. or seeking to be filled with the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. You are a son or daughter of God. Amen. And because you are a son or daughter. Now, if y'all don't say amen, I'm going to preach until 5 o'clock this evening. Amen. Because you are a son or daughter of God. You have rights and privileges. Yes. Amen. Amen. In the time you understand, you have the right and the privileges that most folk don't have. Amen. Amen. You have the right to speak those things that be not as though they, as are. Though they are. Amen. You have the power to bind the enemy mm -hmm. and send him back to hell. Yes, right. Most folk don't have it. You have the power to change your situation and your circumstance.
just by the word that you speak. Because you are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. Read that text again one more time at the top. Behold, uh -huh. what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, uh -huh. that we should be called the sons of God. We should be called the sons of God. We are called the sons of God. Read. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. So don't worry about it. Folk don't understand you. They didn't understand Jesus. They didn't understand Jesus. Why are you always going to that church over there? Why are you always traveling to Hackensack? Why are you always going over there? They don't understand. But because I'm a son of God, because I'm a daughter of God, I don't have to stay in the situation that I am. I can change the situation. Me. Beloved, mm -hmm. now are we the sons of God? When are we the sons of God? Next year? Now. Now. Last year? Now. Right now. Maybe when Jesus come? Yeah. But it says, now are we the sons. So I'm a son right now. Uh -huh. mm. I have power. Right if I'm a son right now, I can lay hands on myself and get healed. If I'm a son right now, I can release finances into my life and be get free. Y'all ain't saying, I told y'all, y'all don't talk to me. I'll be here at 5 o'clock. Amen, amen. <laughs> you are, so I'm trying to get y'all to understand who you are in Christ. So stop walking around broke, broke busted, and disgusted. I know that's right. As a child of God, as a son of God, you've been adopted into the royal family. Amen. And I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm getting to that scripture in a moment. Was that, was that the end of verse 2? No. Read. And it doeth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see, see him. him. As he is. Go to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5. We are sons of God. I want you to catch that. Keep that in your spirit. You are a son and daughter of God. You are somebody. Stop letting the devil tell you ain't, you ain't nothing. You ain't nobody. Because you believe that nonsense, you will be a nobody. I had a guidance counselor when I was in high school. He told me, the black, a black guidance counselor, he told me all through my, all four years of high school, he said to me, you're never going to be college material. He not only, not, I was the only one he drilled it into. He drilled it to a lot of us black kids. He said, y'all will never be college material. If you go to college, you'll fail. You'll be a dropout. So guess what? He drilled it in for me for four years. Guess who didn't go to college? Because I didn't believe I could do it. But God said, I'm going to show you something. When I came into ministry, he sent me to Bible school. And I passed all four years with A's. And the Holy Ghost said, Dad, I told you you can do it if you, if you put your mind and your heart to it. Because you are somebody. That's right. When you are royalty, when you know who you are, there is nothing impossible. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. 1, okay, wait a minute. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. I want y'all to understand this morning. You are children of God. You are somebody. Amen. And you have power. It means in chapter 1, verse 5. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm sorry. New Bible. Chapter 1, verse 5. Having predestinated us 
until the adoption of children. Stop right. Hold on. Having predestinated. Predestination means you were thought it was already done before it was done. It was something that had to happen. It happened before it happened. So you were predestinated to, to do what? Unto adoption of children uh -huh. by Jesus Christ. You was adopted by Jesus Christ because of the shedding of blood. Because he gave his life. Because he shed his blood. He died and rose again. You've been adopted. Read. To himself according to to the good pleasure of his will. Uh -huh. To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Read. To whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the richness of his grace, wherein he has ab abound Toward us in all wisdom and province, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he had purpose in himself. That's enough. We've been adopted into the family. When you're adopted into the priesthood, you are priesthood. You've been adopted by the blood of the Lamb. Because of the redemption that was done on the cross, you've been adopted into royalty. Yes. Saints of God, walk like your royalty. Talk like your royalty. Dress like your royalty. You are somebody. Romans 8.15, quickly. I'm moving quickly. Romans 8.15. You are somebody. You are royal priesthood. You've been adopted into the royal family. There's a song my grandmother used to, I used to hear the old folks sing back in the church I was raised in here. That, that, I'm a royal child. Adopted in the royal family. Kept by the power of God. I am royalty. Amen. And I've been adopted into the royal family by the blood of Jesus. So since I'm adopted, I could call those things that be not as they are. I could do like Jesus did. I could speak to the mountains. It's got to move. I could put the devil on the run. Huh? They, they, they tell me there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, another one coming, which I told y'all was coming, that there's it's in Africa right now. But I told the devil already, I serve notice on hell. You can't come this way. I don't care if you enter the United States. You can't come this way. Amen. Because I'm royalty. Amen. I know who I am. Amen. I'm the healed of the Lord. Ain't nothing broken. Ain't nothing missing. That's right. Because the scripture says what? Thank you, Pastor. I am complete. In Where? In him. him. Only in him. Now, if you're not in him, you ain't complete. There you go. Yeah, right, you got some problems. That's right. You need to get in him and let him get in you. Amen. Romans 8 13. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. You have not received the spirit of bondage again. To fear. Uh huh. But ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Have you received the spirit of adoption? You know when a, when a child is adopted, they, my, my mother-in-law had some foster kids. And before she left here, she adopted two of them. And when she adopted two of them, she gave them their last name. She gave them her last name. And the reason she did it was so that when she left here, they would have much rights to the will as those who were born into the family. That's right. right. Watch out now, you go strong, sir. Woo, Jesus. Don't you know when you've given your life to Christ, according to scripture she just read, you've been adopted 
into the family, and you have a much right as to the as to the to the will, to the word, to to the benefits of the will of God as anybody else. Mm. You have the rights. You need to get in the book and find out what your will is. And what the will says about you. What the will has left you. You're a sad person that says, Mama got a will, and you ain't never ready. But stand there and go cry about, Mama gave me this, and Mama gave me that. Well, baby, read the will. The will is the desire of the person that has died. Y'all y'all catching this? The will is the desire of the person that has died. Right. And where they want their possessions to go to. Uh -huh. Well, the desire of the one that died, and his name is Jesus, yes, he did. left us the possessions. Yes, he did. Will you possess the land? Hey, go out in. Will you will you cross over your Jordan and get into your Canaan? And possess your land. Mm, mm, mm. They told the people of God, go and possess the land. He didn't say go and think about the land. He didn't say go and just look at the land. He said, go, he said, cross the Jordan and possess the land. Yes. Mm. It's time for you all to possess your land. I told y'all the last time I preached, it is harvest time. Yeah. It's time to possess. What God has left to you. Mm -hmm. And he's left finances to you. He's left prosperity to you. Yes. He's left divine healing to you. Yes. He's left peace to you. Yes. You're a royal child. Mm. Possess the land. Read that scripture from the top again. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage uh -huh. again to fear. But you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. We receive the spirit of adoption, where we can say, Father, Father, Daddy. We can crawl up in his lap, put our arm around his neck and say, Daddy. He says, yes, my child, what you need? He said, well, while you, according to what you told me, Daddy, you told me I could have the riches of the land. And right now, I need a thou, about a hundred million dollars. He said, because I've adopted you, because I've made you part of the royal family, I will give unto you that which you ask of me. Didn't I tell you, but ask anything in my name, I'd give it to you? Lay it up. Didn't I tell you the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just? Hey. Didn't I tell you you be the lender and not the borrower? Hey. What's your problem now? Zion, what's your problem now? Hey. I told you uh, you'll lend to many nations. Yes. Folk will come to you to borrow money. But you got to know who you are. You got to know where you are in the will. What's left to you? What has God left you? I got one more scripture and I'm done. What has God left you? You are somebody. You are more than a conqueror. You are victorious through Christ Jesus because you've been adopted. And you have the same rights and privileges. As the Jews had back then, as Israel had, you have the same rights and privileges. Yes, we do. You because you've been adopted by blood, because of the blood of the Lamb, you have been adopted. So, what are you gonna claim what belongs to you? When are you gonna cross your Jordan on that ground line, ground dry ground, and claim what belongs to you? Read the scriptures every time. The people of God, every time Israel won a victory, God told them, now take the possessions. Y'all better read your word. Every time they won a victory, every time the Philistines came up against 
against them. And they won against them. God said, now go in and take the possession. Amen. You are Israel. Say it again, Bishop. You are Israel. I hope y'all catch that. You are Israel. Because you've been adopted. And folk that bless you, God will bless them. Yes, he will. That's his point. How do I know? He said, those who bless Israel, I, I will bless, bless them. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. I am Israel. Yes, sir. You bless me, God will bless you. Yes, sir. Because I've been adopted yeah. into the royal family. Did you finish that scripture for me? Yes, I did. Go go to First Peter three, First Peter chapter two. Let me know when you're there, and I'll give you the verse. First Peter, what chapter? Chapter two. First Peter chapter two, my last text, my last scripture. I want you to understand who you are this morning. Stop walking around not knowing who you are and the rights and the privileges that belongs to you. Amen. He left them here for us. Yes. He left his he left the will for us. Yes, he did. Which is his word. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. So stop praying on that, that crazy prayer. Lord, pray, keep me in your will. Get in his word. You'll be in his will. Mm. For his word is his will. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. All day long. You got it? Verse number nine. But ye are a chosen generation. You've been chosen. You've been chosen. You've been chosen. Handpicked. We. A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. Not only are you chosen, but you're a royal priesthood. I have yet to see Queen Elizabeth sit down, as they say, with the peasants. <laughs> she only eats with royalty. Yes, she does. She only walks around with royalty. Everybody else is lower than her. Because she knows who she is. She understands her lineage. I'm not going there. Maybe one day I will. But she understands her lineage. She understands her genealogy. And she realizes that royal blood come, royal blood is in her veins. Your royal priesthood, uh-huh. And holy nation. A holy nation. A peculiar people. A strange people. That ye should show forth the uh -huh. praises of him who have called you out. Wait, wait now, wait now. You are holy people, a strange people to show off his praise. Mm. To show off his praise. Praise is what I do. Mm -hmm. Praise will bring victory. Praise will unlock doors. Yes, it will. Praise will let, let, open, open the burst of rain clouds. The scripture says that when they finished the temple, they stood there praising God. They couldn't even get in the temple because the glory cloud came in. Mm. So there's something about praise. You were created to praise yes. because you're a royal priesthood. You've been adopted into the royal family. Read. Who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light? Who have called you out of darkness. Is that it? That's it. Thank you. You can close the book. I'm done. Called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. That light is Jesus Christ. You are a royal priesthood. You are royalty. It says of God, there's no need for y'all to walk around like you don't know who you are. I think I clarified that for you today. You are somebody. Yes. And the rights and privileges are yours. Take the bull by the horn. Yes. 
Run with it. Claim with your claim what is yours. Make stake on what is yours. And stop walking around want woulda, coulda, shoulda, wanna be. I wish I could have this. Window shopping. Stop window shopping. Go in there and claim it. Lay your hands on it. Claim what belongs to you. The reason why some of us don't have it because we ain't moved yet. We take it too long to move. God's already given it to you. I've already given it to you. It's already yours. I've already unlocked the door. I've already prepared the hearts. It's yours. Because you're a royal priesthood. You're royalty. You're royalty. Dress, look, and act like you're somebody. Because if you went for a job interview and you dressed like some of these kids dress, you just as quick as you walk in, you would walk out. You got to walk in like you want the job. That's right. You got to dress like you want the job. Your appearance means everything in the business world. But your appearance means everything in Christ Jesus. Amen. You got to dress, walk, and talk like you're a royal child. If you are somebody. Stop letting the enemy make you think you're a nobody. I'm, I, I'm not crazy about that song. I forgot who wrote it. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. No, I'm not a nobody. I'm somebody trying to tell somebody. Because I'm, I've been born again. I've been adopted into the royal family. And my name has been changed to Israel because I've been adopted into the Israeli family. Into the one that the, the promise, the family of promise that God promised to bless. And he promised if I would do what he called me to do. I didn't even go here today. But if I do, Deuteronomy chapter 28, if you do all that I've called you to do, mm. I'll bless you coming in. Yes. All of them, not some of them, all of them. You have just obligated me. You've obligated God. Folks, okay, you shouldn't say that, but you have. You have obligated God. When you do everything that God has told you and told you to do and called you to do, he said, I will, all of these blessings will come on you and overtake you. Yes. I will bless you. You just obligated me to unlock the door. You just obligated me to unlock the rain cloud. You just obligated me to bless you coming in. And you know what I like about that particular text? And I'm through. It says, wherever my feet is. Mm -hmm. Wherever I place my feet, wherever I walk is blessed. I can release blessings wherever I am. Yes. Keep telling folk. Now, I can't say it now because we on there. But wherever my feet is, mm -hmm. Joshua. in the early morning, in the morning hour, catch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's blessed. They don't have, they don't real, they don't realize how blessed they really are. They blessed because I'm there. Where I lay my hands is blessed. So be careful where you put your hands. Because when you lay your hands on, it's blessed. Wherever, wherever, wherever you walk, wherever you lay your hands is blessed. If you go in the city, you're blessed. If you're in the fields, look you're out, blessed. Out, if you're out. in the country, you're blessed. In the store. Oh, God. Go in the store, you're blessed. Yes. Bless your basket. Go down south in the barns if they got any left, you're blessed. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll bless you. Not only will I bless you, but they will overtake you. Yes, that sir. means it means you'll have more than enough. That's it. But you got to know who you are. You got to understand clearly who you are in Christ and what belongs to you. You don't have to be broke. 
You don't have to be poor. You don't have to be sick. But you can be healed, delivered, and set free because you're a royal child adopted in the royal family. Have you been adopted? I have. And I'm royalty. And everything that he said belongs to me. And I can claim it. I can accept it. I can receive it because he said it's mine. He said, by a stripes, I'm healed. So devil, you got to go. He said, I'm, that I will prosper and be in health even as my soul prospered. So poverty, you got to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of who I am and what I am in Christ Jesus. It is through him and by him that I move and live and have my being. You are royalty this morning. You are royalty. Act like you're royalty. Live like you're royalty. Talk like you're royalty. Get rid of the negative talk. Royalty ain't never spoke negative. Mm. Get rid of the negative words. Because your words either put you up or put you down. Amen. It will, they will defeat you or give you victory. Right. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yes, it is. You are royalty. You are somebody. So as this day forward, know you are somebody. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for the word. Yes. We honor you. We adore you. In Jesus' name. Yes. And we thank you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Show y'all how she weighs. She don't weigh like y'all. Yeah! <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> 